Hey folks, AJ, the CEO here. We are in Lynchburg. I'm actually at my mom's house getting ready to leave. We are heading over to Rose Chapel to start um, their system install that we initially talked about. And I got food on my face. Mm. Anyway, um, we were getting ready to start the install that we initially talked to them about two years ago. Um, that I think they had some roof stuff that needed to be done, um, but they moved forward. I thought we weren't going to do this until July, but pleasantly surprised that they want to move forward a little bit faster so we got everything I got a carload of stuff in here of all the equipment and gear and things like that um, thankfully I didn't have to bring TVs but they're actually gonna be providing those so I'm not gonna know what type they're gonna get until I get there but let's get inside uh, well, let's get over to the church, which isn't that far from my mom's house. And then um, we're going to get the lay of the land, knock out the simple stuff first, which is probably setting up the media booth, the computers, and all this other stuff. I still need to buy the their camcorder that's going to be in the fellowship hall. I'm going to do that locally, hopefully. Um, if not, I'm going to have to order it and then bring it back. Because this is probably going to be a week-long process because I'm going to be back Sunday um, to help them with the install as well too but anyway let's get over there and let's get to work all right folks we are here we're getting ready to get started so a few things happen I guess the the media booth isn't the wall of blowing out the media booth wasn't done yet so what we need to do is and I'm out of breath from bringing everything inside <laughs> but uh well had help bringing everything inside um so the plan is we're going to set up a table where the wall is going to be, run all the cables, hang everything that we possibly can. They're actually picked up the TVs. So the one that's going to be facing the pulpit, we're not going to do that right now um, because they don't have a TV for it right now. There's no point in putting the arm up, but we are going to have the electrical and the HDMI ran to that location, come back and do that, place everything on tables so that they can actually function but make sure that we have a clear space of where these cables are going to go so that somebody's just driving down the street just honking there's nobody with, with, around them but anyway um put everything in place so that when they actually blow the wall out and build out the media area that there's no way that the cables in the way that can possibly be damaged so let's get inside i'm going to hang the back um, camera right now and we don't have to go into the attic they said we can actually go down and go through the floor through the drop ceiling under this to get up to the front so yay even though there's the entrance right there you see how tiny that is yeah ain't trying to go up in there but um we're gonna make a plan and we're gonna get started so like you see i got this we're gonna put the 30x in the back and then go from there all right we got one done it's stuck over some concrete so I ended up using some toggle bolts um, to go through, but I think some of these concrete screws will be a better option, but we do got it. That's the 30X to cover the distance. Going to temporarily run the cable just to make sure, see what the image, flip it upside down since that's the orientation I did it. Then we go to the, move on to the next. All right, folks, so we got mount number one, and this is a kind of a unique mount. I'll have a link down below, but that center bracket can actually remove, and then you can place one of these here and the other one here so it perfectly angles the TV in the center. Never really saw that before, but we anchored in here, and I have proof here that I was able to hang from this, so that, that ain't going nowhere for the TV. Um, I'm going to put the extra extensions on there then move over. We pretty much got the TV in alignment right there at the bottom. I'm just gonna measure how far I was from the wall so we can have it be uniform on that side, but making good progress. All right, folks, we're making some good progress. We got two cameras set up. We got both mounts mounted, just waiting for them to come back with the TVs. Got that camera. I am getting ready to relocate my ladder and hang the third camera third and final camera my suggestion to them was to pull the banner down and put the camera let me step up here is to put the camera right there so it would be a straight on shot and i'm gonna put it sideways so that when it turns it could turn like this and get everything but then at the same time it could turn and get the baptismal and I might have to get a mount now that I think about it. 
which I really wouldn't like to do. I mean, I guess technically I could mount it right there. I don't know. That would make it easier to get the cables to where I'm going. I might, I might think about doing that, putting it right there. But anyway, we gotta do that. And then I'm probably gonna hook up the computer and plug everything into the A Tim. And again, I have no internet up here, but I can control the cameras. That was the point of making a closed network. Somebody asked me a question, do I need internet? If the internet goes out, does everything work? And again, if you have DHCP, no. But if you have a static network, IP address is set, and if it's on your network and it matches, then yes, it will work. But if the internet goes out because they're static um, IP addresses and they can still talk to each other, they're still wired, as long as the switch that they're plugged into is, is on, it will still work. So internet is not required, which is proof of here. So like, for example, there is no internet, but if I come over here, and as you can see, I have the two cameras and the joystick, joysticks right here. So as you can see, if I go to camera number two, and if I can get wide enough so you can see, you can see camera's moving. And go to camera number one. All right, straightforward. And we don't have any type of connection here at all. So let's figure out where we're gonna put this camera and then go from there. Alrighty folks, as you can see, TV number one is up, TV number two is up, yay, all the cameras are up. I'm tired, um, <laughs> wait for the electrician to be here, um, probably about like an hour and a half. I'm gonna go get some lunch. The intention is I got a lot of stuff done today that I wanted to get done well ahead of schedule. Now the main thing today um, the rest of the day or tomorrow is going to be how do we get cable. So we have the option of going up and coming over into the area as well as back here or drop down into the floor and come up under and come up. We just have to figure whichever one. After the electrician is there, just have to find, make a hole right here on either side to run the HDMI back over to the media area. Um, I might even set the computer up just to have it plugged in. And then we also need to run a cable to have a hard line internet connection up here, do that, which honestly, now that I think about it, maybe going downstairs would be better because there's the router downstairs and we can bundle everything. But that's what we got. Let me go up the street, get something to eat. We'll be back. And most likely, if I don't do anything else, we're gonna go into day two. So anyway, I'm hungry. All right, good morning, folks. It is day two, we are back. And it looks like they did the electrical yesterday. Let's see what else they got over here that they do. Oh, okay, they didn't run it, but it's here. They got the cable, ran for the other outlet for the TV. And let's see on this side. Oh, they did two holes. Hey, at least there's my hole for the HDMI. So what I'm gonna do is run my HDMI cable. Um, I got a bunch of them, so instead of me trying to pull this one, I'm just gonna take two boxes up there with me, put these up, run the cable for here, run it for the other one, start moving the cables to the drop down that I, um, the hole that I made. Make sure I don't get the wrong length of cable. And then we go from there. So let's get up here, get this knocked out, and then go from there. This one should be very easy because I can reach and do this one. So I'm going to do this one and then go from there. Alrighty, folks. So I got both of the cables ran for, um, through the wall for the HDMI. I even have my other cable sitting up there for the future TV that's gonna pull there. So all I have to do is widen up the hole and it's kind of like concrete. So I would just have to dig through there, but the cable is there, it's already ran. So at this point, I've walked the bottom up under here and 
we're relatively back to the back wall, can't go any further here. So I'm gonna make a small pilot hole, put this metal um, clothes hanger to see if where I can find where this is. I think I'm in a utility closet right up under here. And if that works, we're gonna widen the hole just by a little bit and then we'll run the cables and then we can run them all the way up and then back up through the drop ceiling to get to the location. And we'll do the same thing with that camera, avoiding having to get up here. Now, I'll be honest, I did get all the way up here and I got to this part where it bows and I can see all the way down this side. I just don't wanna walk all the way down there um, cause it's nothing to hold on to. So it's just joists walking all the way down. So no. But anyway, let me make this hole and then we'll go from there. All right, so found the hole that's down in the back. Now we got a relative position for the hole that's going to come up. We're actually in the pastor's office and it's somewhere around here. But there's a vent that we need to avoid here. So I'm getting ready to drill a hole here, pilot hole, do the exact same thing. And hopefully it'll line up and we'll be good to go. I'll be able to run the internet up there, run the cables from back there. Then the only thing else I would need to do, run the cable that's gonna feed the TVs downstairs and then get the classroom to get those cables and do the exact same thing. All right, folks, so what we gotta do is we got the cable over here, but we had a slight issue. Um, we can't go through the ceiling right here. So what we're gonna do is there's a closet on the other side of this wall. So the idea is we're gonna run the cables into this closet over here, make a hole right there, come through here, and then go straight up through this cabinetry, and then we can reach over and grab the cables. And the hole that goes up to the media area is right there. So once we get there, that's gonna be fine. Um, so, after we do that, we need to find a place where the distribution is going to go. All the cables for the camera are just going to come all the way down this hallway, meet up with this one, come into this closet. And this is where we're going to drill a hole to get um, on this side. Because I was trying to find where this is. It's a wall, and I can't reach this. It's like right on the other side, one more joist over, which I can't get to. So we're gonna do that and that will get, that will be our main path for all the internet cables and stuff like that. Now the only other thing that we need to do is running through this drop ceiling here and they already have it here, so that's fine. And I wish that hole was big enough. If not, we're just gonna expand it and go here. We're gonna run another cable, as you can see right here. And we're going to put a hardline internet connection over here somewhere. And we run, and I might not, yeah, we're going to run a cable here that will be a feed from the TV, I mean, from the distribution upstairs. Then we're going to put another jack down here or maybe just an extra cable or whatever so that if somebody is doing a presentation, it could be plugged in here as well as the ATEM. The other ATEM is gonna live down here with a tripod and a camera down here. So that's why I'm thinking, gonna probably put a network jack on the wall over here somewhere, or if this is open up and it clears straight through, I might repurpose one of these and put a jack there. But this, once I get cables in here, this is easy because everything is gonna be located in this room. Um, the only thing really right now is distribution. Now the other thing in the future, if I come up here into the choir room, drop ceilings, now to find a way to get over here, but another TV is either gonna go here or go over here, somewhere in here. Shouldn't be a problem. There's an audio cable feeding here somewhere, so there's a path. That's the other thing that's going to live here. This is going to go off of the main 1x8 HDMI splitter. And then I think that's it. I have to replace the HDMI cable there because I think it got caught up on one of these chairs and it bent it. So we need to get, take care of that. 
and you can see it ripped up the carpet when I was drilling through there, so we'll take care of that. And then to get these up out of the way, because the last thing we need is some more damaged cables that I have to replace. Put these. Right there as best as possible. And there, I actually had this marked off where I'm gonna have a pass-through plate. That's where the other HDMI that's going to this camera and ethernet is gonna go. We have a rack mount that's gonna hold all of the networking stuff. I need a shelf for that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So like I said, I'm gonna widen this hole here in the back fish the cables through for the back camera then tomorrow we're going to do the same thing with the side camera <laughs> i don't know if you can see it here the side camera right there i'm gonna find it down there somewhere put a conduit and then that's about it so let me do this real quick because i need to get back to richmond i need to build a computer got a meeting then we're going to be back, drive right back down here. So I'll be back home at my mom's house, maybe around like 1 o'clock in the morning. But anyway, let me do this, and then we'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, folks, day three, we're back. Got some conduit, so I'm going to run these cables. I already pushed them to the floor yesterday. Put the conduit here. Um, the good thing is I'm not going to go all the way down right here because there's a steel plate. There's no reason in cutting that. So I'm going to run this down, loop them over, fish everything down, run all the, ca all the, the cables all the way down, find where that one is. But the main thing is I actually got a two inch um, masonry bit. So we're going to cut a hole in the wall that's going into the pastor's office. So that way we can at least get this camera and the main internet up. And then after that, we'll add that cable, those cables to that same connection. And then this will, this part will be done. And the replacement cable for the camera is going to be here tomorrow. And then, but I think I have enough to fish everything. And then we're going to work on um, the fellowship hall stuff because I got the camera in the back seat, which I forgot to bring. So let's level this off, push the cables down, and then we go from there. Alrighty, so we got the hole here. And I am through. I just need to widen the hole on that side. And we'll be able to run the cables here. I have a two inch grommet that will fit here. I thought I bought a smaller um, hole, but it's, I bought another bit, which was the exact same one I already had. But anyway, clean through. The grommet is gonna sit, actually, make sure it fits on here. All right, so. That's this right there. We'll put a cover piece. I'm going to add some tape to widen this out so it'll stay flush. But <laughs> anyway, that'll be there. And then all the pictures that I took down and the flower arrangement will call, take away the distraction. And again, we're going to run the cables right behind there. Come up here. And I'm going to see about going straight up into the ceiling. Um, because I should be able to reach it from right here if I come as far over here as possible. But let's widen the hole on the other side. Put all these cables through. Because I, I didn't show you this. But there was a vent over here that I didn't know its use. But right beside it, there was a gap here that I was able to fish my cable through. So I'm just going to cut maybe a quarter of an inch out of there so I can slide all my cables through here so I don't need to make a hole here. And then tack it down. And then there's my hole that I'm getting ready to widen up. Alrighty, we got the first camera and the main internet line ran up here. So now I'm gonna try and, I got a whole bunch of slack. So I'm gonna hide that in the ceiling. Um, I got a long way to hide all that cable. But the other thing we need to do is, terminate this end of the cable so that it will go and connect down to the router and i'm trying to figure out where we can do that but that's about it and then we're going to find the other camera that should be around here somewhere pull those down meet them here carry them over and we go from there very productive today we got our conduit we got the cable brand 
I actually forgot. I drilled the hole there and have a cable there. I didn't verify where that was. Um, one of the switches, and not switches, one of the surge protectors that I got blue, um, they used the surge protector I had plugged in here for the TV. They plugged in the vacuum and then it killed the whole um, surge protector. So I need to get another one for that. Um, I have, they got me a six foot table and I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. I just don't feel like doing this right now. But I do have stuff mocked up. Plus, actually, I don't want to set this up because they're going to come in and finish the electrical. So I don't want to put everything all over the place. But I do have everything mocked up here temporarily and definitely need more space. What the heck is this? Windows always doing some new stuff. Anyway, um, I need to... Actually, I need to switch those. Um, I thought I had a USB-C cable. I don't know if it fell out in my car, was at my mom's house or something, but I need to make a network cable so that I can at least connect to this and switch these around because um, that's the front, not the side. Because uh, that's how I have everything wired. I do have it on the IP address because we do have an internet connection, obviously. And this is all temporarily, temporary because when this wall is done, all of this is gonna be mounted to a um, rack that's gonna be on the wall to get this up and out of the way. I need to open up that wall and pass the cables for the that camera through there that's marked. Um, but honestly, that's simple. And I actually didn't do it because that's the cable that got snagged when they were vacuuming and it hit the chair and it kind of bent so the other one is supposed to be here tomorrow so i'll do that i'll open that hole up tomorrow first thing then go to lunch and hopefully it'll be delivered to my mom's um if not we'll come back and do that as long as it's here i can fish the cables through um i need to hook up to the sound system um and connect it and all that other fun stuff but that's what we got going on um let me take you downstairs and what we got there so far all right, so down here, we have the cable ran for the TV, and it's actually on. I just unplugged everything. We have a conduit ran, a jack on the wall. I need to cut a smaller piece to cover that distance. We ended up making a bigger hole so that uh, I'm probably going to push the HDMI that's going to feed from upstairs this way. I'm thinking, but we are right below the choir room that needs to have a TV up there, so I'm still trying to figure that out. These are the jacks that we have here that will plug in, get internet. I have to check that when I get my light. I don't think I did my cables wrong. I'm gonna test that out, but um, I'm gonna turn this on here. You can see there's our camera. Turn on the multi view. There we go. So you got to realize down here. Well, I just turned the camera on, the mic on. <laughs> so if people were streaming down here, they would have to turn that on and make sure that the volume is down. But we could always switch this to if they were doing presentations, Bible study, scriptures, or whatever, they can be put that on the screen up there. But we do have an image. So, yay, that's all good to go. We need to find their tripod to place that in its permanent position. Um, I'm gonna verify that the connection is up there. I need to clean my mess up because they're having Bible study down here. So I need to get as much stuff out of the way so that nobody's really messing with anything. Um, because if I come back and it's messed up, guess what? You got to buy a new one because I haven't finished everything. Um, so I need to get another surge protector because this is the one that I was telling you that's not working. I'm not getting anything. Maybe I can return it to Amazon. I still got the boxes upstairs, but let me get the vacuum, clean up my mess, take this ladder over here to see if I can find the cables that I pushed through, um, for the other side camera. And then... 
to start to find the path to get that way. I got some slack in this cable. I need to pull that up to get that up out of the way. We're going to put another piece of conduit right beside here, which will also hold the HDMI cable as well, too. Um, so let me get the vacuum. Let me clean up and then we'll go from there. Good morning, everybody. Adrian here. We're on day number four and start a little early. Found the cable coming downstairs. So I'm going to widen that hole, run the um, HDMI cable here to the hallway, meet up where we did and pull it back upstairs. Also, at the same time, drop another cable that's going to feed the HDMI splitter for the TVs down here. And at that point, the routing is pretty much done. I'm not going to do any serious um, additional routing. The only other thing I'm going to do is pull another cable that's going to go into the fellowship hall. Because um, the fact that I have a distribution here is going to be fine. It's kind of hard for me to run everything when I don't know where the TVs are going to be. And I know like this TV is not going to be capable of running everything. But I will verify just to make sure. It does have two HDMI ends, but I don't know what's the resolution of the TV. And it's not even plugged in, so I ain't got to worry about that. Um, let's widen this hole up here. Put the conduit up on the wall. Get that done in the sanctuary part. Done first, and then I can concentrate on all the cabling down here. And then we're going to start wrapping up a bunch of other stuff here because this is my last day to be able to do something today. So I want to get everything functional because I'm going to be back here Sunday to actually run it for the first time. And then we'll be back on the 18th to train and then <clears throat> have them run everything on um, that Sunday. So let's get upstairs. Let's get this cable, this camera done. And then we go from there. Ooh. All right, folks. So I would probably say that we are... 90% done, 95% done, and that's mainly just, just because of the placement of the TVs that are going to be down here, but we are in the pastor's office. We got cables ran. Once I get everything finalized, we're going to put, it, put a piece of conduit right here for that, um, for the distribution of cables. The other HDMI splitter right now is going to be right here so that we'll find, most likely it's probably going to be on the other side of this wall, would be the distribution of the TVs to go down here. So we still have seven more connections that we can do down here. But we got, let me turn you around. Got everything up in here cleaned up. Right here is right where the side PTZ, we got all those cables ran all the way over here. And again, that distribution, we could run, they're gonna have to get a newer TV to support that. I think that's 720p only. Um, but, we got internet, hardline internet coming here from the office, which they did lock, so I can't go back in there. Um, we have our distribution running here. We have a new conduit here. I'm gonna put some silicone after we finish putting all the wiring and stuff. That silicone can be painted to seal up that hole, but I like the hole to be bigger, so if more cables are there, they're prepared. We got everything ran in the ceiling here and boom we have the connection going down here which is sending video and audio here from the sanctuary um, but then this is hdmi input number four number three goes back to this conduit we have here when the canon g50 and the a10 mini pro are connected if you want to do like a bible study or something down here for that um, get all my tools so I don't forget and let's take a trip on upstairs now this is where the choir room was going to be they were talking about putting a TV here uh, and then it changed over here. So right now they're not really sure where they want the TV to be. Me personally, I would love it to be on this wall because then we can just easily come in. Well, no, that's the stairs. If I look right there, if we can get high enough, we can run a cable right over um, to get there. 
or come around and wrap to right there. Either one is fine. Um, but that's one that we didn't do because we're waiting on the placement. And actually we had a delay. So we actually had a bird came out of the attic and it took him about like 45 minutes to get the thing out of here. But um, we got, I guess they pushed everything here. The intention was for me to put the table here um, for the, and move the stuff out of the corner. But I guess, I guess everybody was trying to help to clean up everything. They didn't know my plan. So I'm going to have to come back and do that at another time. Um, cause I, I'm, I disassembled the organ and pushed it up against the wall so that this table, actually I'll have a six foot table right here since nobody's coming through this entrance. But if I get here early enough on Sunday, maybe I can move everything. I don't know. Uh, what else? Let me take you back out here. Well, actually, let me go back over here to the computer. So again, not really ideal. I don't have a long enough cable because of this placement right here to connect to the sound system. So I have some longer cables at home that I need to make sure I bring with me so I can have everything hooked up. But I am running um, Presenter right now under my account. Once I teach them, I will have them. And that's a mark left from this wonderful bird that came over here. But um get them set up so that they can have this and i'm going to be running scripture and stuff like that for them this sunday we got controls to all of the cameras we got our front um i didn't get a chance to finish running the cables through there because the bird kind of was actually in the baptismal area for a while so um when i come back um after this part is demolished and moved over um i will come back and redo that and I'm definitely going to make sure I come here and disassemble this before um, they do this. Because I'm going to be back here on the 18th to train. So that's fine. Um, I need to make sure I mark that on my calendar too before I get booked. But we got all the controls. Internet speed is fast enough to maintain everything. So we are good to go. Um, I need to get another cable so that we're going to connect the sound directly to the um, sound system so that all the audio goes through here so they can hear it in the house as well. I need to make a mental note of that. And I think that is about it. Let's take a, another little trip out here so we can see. Um, the electrician finished everything. So my cable is still up there. When they decide to go with another TV, that's why I marked where I'm gonna place the um, anchors for that ceiling mount right there. That is the mount that's gonna go for the multi-view when there's a wall right there. Um, there's the distribution and the mounts and all that other stuff like that. So let's come out here. Make sure to throw all that away. I need to get my ladder too. So very nice. We got our conduits here. In the back, also I have the one on the side. So, very, very nice. So again, thank you, Rose Chapel. I mean, obviously, I will probably do a link and a follow-up when I finish, finish everything. But like I said, I'm going to be here Sunday to run a demo of a service to give them an idea of what's going to happen. I'm probably going to stream it on um, my Vimeo account and probably link it to whatever so that they can see it after the fact. But um, again, thank you so much for this. Um, if you're interested in me doing a consultation, doing an on-site, hit me up at um, ajhomes.com slash consultations. Me or D will follow back up with you. And we got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to be back in Richmond for the live stream Q&A tomorrow, North Carolina, two stops in North Carolina tomorrow on me on Saturday back here on Sunday Lynchburg next week I got a couple of stops that I have to do um, in Richmond and then got a bunch of other appointments and then we're looking at being in Philadelphia um, and then Cincinnati so God's good we're doing a lot of stuff helping out a lot of people but um that's about it folks links are down below to everything that we used here let me know if you have any questions and we will be seeing y'all on the next video so if you like this type of content appreciate a like consider subscribing hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry thanks for watching folks this is aj we'll catch you on the next video later